There's a ton of Xbox news I want to cover today, so let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So there's three main topics I want to talk about today. Timestamps and links to the articles are in the description of this video below, by the way. And also don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you happen to like this video. So did you click the like button? Okay, so let's continue. So first bit of news, looks like Hasbro wants Microsoft and Xbox uh, to bring back Activision's Transformers games. Okay, so this information is a courtesy of Windows Central and uh, this is what they say. On July 28th, 2023 at San Diego Comic-Con, the Transformer fan base Transformers World 2005 conducted an interview via Hazard Hazardor Gaming with Hasbro, the company that created the Transformers franchise amongst the various topics discussed like the live action movies and new upcoming Transformers toys, a major highlight was that um, Hasbro wishes to re-release -re several Transformers video games published by Activision to modern Xbox consoles via backwards compatibility on the Xbox Series S and X. However, Hasbro mentioned that the prospect of that realistically happening would be difficult due to the games themselves being misplaced amongst um, Activision's archives. Here is the full quote of what Hasbro had to say about re-releasing Transformers games on Xbox. Sadly, apparently Activision's not sure what drives uh, they are only in the building. When a company eats a company that eats a company, things get lost and that's very frustrating. Hope is that now that the deal is moving forward with Microsoft and Xbox, that they will go through all the archives and every hard drive to find it all. Because it's an easy game a pass ad. We want those games back uh, up for people to have a chance to play. The list of Transformers pu published by Activision includes Transformers War of the Cybertron, Transformers Fall, Fall of Tri uh, Cybertron, Transformers Devastation, Transformers The Game, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers Dark of the Moon and Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Now that, now that Microsoft has won its court battle against the FTC to buy Activision Blizzard, it's very likely that Activision will go back and come through its archives to recover these Transformers games and re-release them onto Xbox Series X and S and Game Pass if it manages to find them. Um, now they continue to talk about the fact that you know not all not all these games are great, but some of them are actually pretty good. So uh, it makes sense, um, you know, when it comes to Game Pass. And uh, I uh, I wonder. I mean, sounds like they were not even in backwards compatibility so far. Uh, I know that Activision wasn't really that great uh, to collaborate with Xbox on adding their games to backwards compatibility. I mean, some, I know that some, if not all, Call of Duty games work there, but other than that, I'm not really sure. But now, uh, once we know that Microsoft will buy Activision Blizzard King, it's just a matter of time, it makes sense to uh, add all of these games. And there's some actually cool games there, that which is great. So, yeah, great news, guys. So uh, another piece of news I want to talk about, it's all about Hideo Kojima. So this guy is back on Twitter with some tweets uh, and he tweeted this with marketing, with MS, so Microsoft's market marketing team. Now, obviously, that tweet alone doesn't really necessarily say much, but, you know, the fact that they are already, that marketing team, Xboxes, marketing marketing team is working with him uh, already that means that a you know he must have something to show them meaning a game and that also means that you know they are they are getting ready for some sort of i guess reveal and um, you know because why would you hire not really hire but why would you bring marketing team to your um to your building to your uh studio uh, if not if not start if not to start working on some sort of marketing campaign so there's um okay so this is my theory right 
uh, I have a feeling that uh, Kojima games may be shown during uh, TGS, uh, not TGS, but um, the Game Award, the Game Awards, uh, Game Awards show, yeah, yeah. So, which is in December, and I know, but you know, I guess these things take some time to actually um, um, prepare. Uh, I know that some people will probably say, oh, maybe they will show something at Gamescom. Maybe they will, and they will start marketing this game later. Who knows, right? But, you know, if they are already working with marketing team, if Hideo Kojima is working with uh, Microsoft's uh, our marketing team already, maybe they, maybe they are getting ready to release this game next year. I mean, can you believe it? Now, um, this is all speculation on my part, of course, but, um, hey, listen. You know, there, there's a reason why they are working with marketing already. That means that, like, you know, I'm pretty... Now, I'm actually pretty certain that we may actually even play this game within next 18 months. So, like, I don't believe that this game is coming out, like, this year, but next year, why not? So, that would actually make for a great year uh, next year. I mean, because, like, we know that Avowed is coming next year, Hellblade 2 is coming next year, now Hideo Kojima's new game would, if if true, if next year, I mean, 2024 uh, is would already look um, great, right? So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be some sort of like a, a thriller horror movie and um, um, they've been talking about, you know, taking advantage of the cloud infrastructure as well, but like there's not really much information about you know his game but also I, ju I just wanted to point out that also that he is known for actually working pretty quick with their games and apparently that game that he is making for xbox he's actually worked on that game with stadia but then that project kind of got cancelled because stadia got cancelled so you know he kind of had not necessarily a ready game, but like a lot of work has been already put into that project and they just moved that project to Xbox, right? So even though the, the project uh, was announced last year, I think, um, that, doesn't necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean that they just started working on that last year. You know, I think the work on that game started a little bit earlier. So, yeah, it's possible that the game may come out uh, next year. But like I said, this is just my speculation, speculation on my part. All we know is that Hideo Kojima is working with Mark Microsoft's marketing team already. So, hey, I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? So let's talk about the last bit of news today. And this actually uh, really got me very excited. So, um, according to this website, xfire.com, a remake of The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion is in development at Virtuous Games. So, this is actually a very exciting piece of news for me personally. Now, I'm actually a big fan of... Um, um, of Bethesda RPGs. Uh, yes, I'm more of a Fallout ga gamer, Fallout guy, to be honest with you. But I actually do enjoy these Elder Scrolls uh, games too. And we know that er Elder Scrolls 6 uh, is not coming out anytime soon. We're probably looking at uh, that game coming out probably in like three, four years' time. So um, a remake of an older Elder Scroll game would be great. And this is not the first time we've seen that happening. I mean, we did see uh, we, we did see what Bethesda did with um, um, Skyrim. I mean, they really released this game so many times. Um, I mean, it, I guess it, it, it made a lot of uh, sense for Skyrim because it was um, it was community driven and there was a lot of content and this game is still alive and still new content is being created. So, you know, it, it makes sense, right? Uh, it's not, I don't think that's, that's really the case for Oblivion, although Oblivion is actually a great, I, I remember playing this game on Xbox 360 when it first came out, it was an Xbox exclusive back then. Uh, I remember graphics, I was like blown away by how well this game actually looked back then. And, um, but, you know, it was an early 360 title, 
Like we're talking about a game that released uh, what like well, over twenty years ago now. Well, maybe not, not really. Well, maybe fifteen. I don't know. When 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 did Xbox launch? Two thousand and five. Yeah, 2005 or 6, no, 6, 2006, that was PlayStation 3 launch year, so 2005, so that was the release date for that game, so it's 2023, guys, so that, that's 18 years, so obviously the game is still good, by the way, it's available via backwards compatibility right now on Xbox, you can play it, uh, it's uh, running at 60 frames per second, 4K on Xbox Series X, like 1440p I think on Xbox Series S, so it's actually more than playable even right now uh, with all the Xbox 360 achievements and everything, but it's still an older title, yes resolution is higher and everything is looks a little bit better, but the textures, um, obviously the geometry, FX, like this is still an early Xbox 360 title, so having a remake um, for that game, that would be great. And by the way, Oblivion is kind of cool because it wasn't as open as Skyrim. So for people that are not necessarily in Skyrim, big open world kind of game, uh, Oblivion is actually more digestible, I guess. Uh, and don't get me wrong, like there's a lot of things to do in Oblivion too, right? Uh, people are playing this game to this day with all the mods on PC and stuff, but it was a, a little bit smaller in scope, if you know what I mean, right? So it makes sense. So guys, um, I really hope that this is true. Uh, by the way, this information is a courtesy of one of the ex-developers, um, uh, one of the ex-Virtuous Games developers, and I think in, uh, in his LinkedIn profile, or I think he posted something on one of these um, websites, and he kind of shared this information that he did work on that project. Uh, like I said, the link to the full article is in the description below, so you can actually check it yourself. So, um, but like I said, that would be fantastic. I really do hope that this is true, uh, because Oblivion is actually a, a great game, and um, even to this day, and I mean, if you haven't played it, like check it on Xbox, it's in Game Pass, by the way, it's one of the Bethesda games, so it's Xbox owned now, so it's in Game Pass, you can play it, it's enhanced 60 frames per second 4K uh, and all that jazz, so it's more than digestible, but yeah, a proper remake would actually make this game a out of good thing, uh, really, I mean, it, yeah, it would, it's actually one of these games that would need, that would be my, like, because Skyrim is still holding up pretty well, and Skyrim Anniversary Edition was released and which um, special edition sorry which improved number of things not dramatically but still but oblivion with its graphics if they made some big changes there like at least improved textures and you know some animations who knows maybe that would be much better but anyway guys so that's the news i hope you enjoyed it um hit the like button subscribe to the channel as well always that helps the channel a lot and uh, yeah, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Take care.